Hi guys, doing um, a, a very spontaneous and unplanned video tonight because I have this idea in my head and I can't get it out so well usually the only way that works for me is to get to it. What's the idea? Well um, as you all know I have a bullet journal or some of you know that and um, um, well the thing is that you know I don't really bullet journal as in with um, doodles and colors and stuff for me it really is a way of organizing my brain which is quite an ADD style of brain um, so it really helps me to structure my thinking and my uh, planning for the day and everything um, a little while ago I ran into Boho Berry's journal about she's got this traveler notebook traveler style a bullet journal with these elastic bands in it to fit um, single um, uh, notebooks into it like this and um, I quite I, I like that because um, I've been working in a file of facts for a bit I think last year around this time but I really don't like the ring binder because the ring binder makes it so hard for me to write on the I'm, I'm right-handed to write on the left side of the binder it's always in the way and what I really like about any system that has these elastic bands in the middle is that you know this is this is quite warped um, because the elastic bands that I have are I, I strung them a bit tight and also the leather is super soft so but anyway what I really like is that if you don't like writing in this notebook in this um, well in, in, in the journal as a whole you can very easily take it out and then later insert it back in again and um, I just prefer that to taking out every single page so I um, really wanted to get rid of I have I bought three secondhand filofaxes and last year I painted this one um, uh, because I didn't, it was just a plain leather, leather black one, and I decided to paint it, which, and I still like it, so I am still using this, but not as a bullet journal, it's more like a project book. Um, but this I want to use as a bullet journal, and um, well, this one was a bit, you know, I don't know, it's not. I wanted something more sturdy and um, also I had attached these metal parts from an antique um, chest of drawers and I ended up not liking it. It's too goth for my liking. But you know, fortunately I have a daughter who's inclined towards the goth and rock and stuff and she digs this. So I'm going to find a way to straighten the back to make it less flimsy and then I'm going to give it to her because she really, she's into notebooks as well. She inherits it um, the curse so anyway Philo facts um, you know I have uh, so I showed you the painted one and I have two of these exact Philo faxes and I'll probably be painting this one too but what I wanted to do was get rid of this ring binder and I looked up on the internet how to do it and the only way was to use a drill to actually um, drill out these um, I don't know what you call it, eyelets, rivets, eyelets. Um, so um, my husband, I was a bit afraid of you know metal parts um, flying about, so I asked my husband to do it and risk his eyes for me, which he did kindly and most um, uh, patiently, <laughs> because it took quite a while. Because you can say a lot about file effects, but they do use good stuff. Anyway, so the binder is out and I have some uh, metal parts here now and um, taking, have to get that out first. You have to be careful because they're sharp and little container, um, brushing out all the little metal particles. Now I can see that um, this has come off, so I'm going to add a little bit of glue, if I can find it, because like I said, I haven't prepared anything. This is just like, you know, I suddenly got the idea, there was no, um, I wanted to be active tonight, and um, 
so I just suddenly figured I really needed to do this now <laughs> that's how I often do things so well this is kind of boring but anyway first thing I'll do next I'll start doing that um, I have some elastic band here so I'm going to be making holes up here and down there and I'm going to just get through string through the elastic band um, but of course there are now two holes where the um, where the ring binder used to be so I'm going to try and cover it up as well as I can it's not a full cover up I see that's a pity um, I'm gonna try and think of a solution hold on okay so I found a solution I have these uh, steel discs and um, I can just very easily you know um, put them in between and then cover up the entire um, hole here there's not an awful lot of space left I see I will have to hammer really hard to make this work um, so all that's left for me to do now is to choose whether I'm going to use oh, whether I'm going to use this um, metal disc with um, a silver flower god it's not fitting very well why not yeah now it is um, or am I going to do that with a um, golden circle I, I prefer the golden circle actually so that's what I'm going to do and I'm just going to hammer these in here really hard I think I have a tool it falls well I have a tool <laughs> to do so but it's actually quite some work getting it through well anyway this one is already in there so I'm just going to hammer away um, I'm going to give it just a little bit of protection I know that was a bad decision Normally you don't, you don't see these things and normally when I do a video I try not to be too clumsy. Anyway, um, my tool, once I bought a silent setter <laughs> a long time ago, but I, you know what, I like noise. I like a fair bit of noise because well, it's just fun, I think. How did I do it again? All right. <clears throat> So um, this is a silent setter and I've got this thing here and if you want to do this silently you're supposed to sort of ring, make this, 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 this motion and then, but you know what, one, in the first place it's going to take me too long, I, I know that because it's quite heavy because um, these are just scrapbook um, eyelets but the eyelet I just grabbed is one from the DIY store and is much much harder so you know what this has got a really good surface for me to to just make a little bit of noise and looks fine it does cover up a little bit of the file of facts logo but hey I'm all right with that and at least it's covered up quite well so next and the next one is a little bit tighter, so I'm going to have to push through quite a bit. Yeah, it's in there. Okay, so pushing out the lining, pushing it down so that I know it's covering really well. hammering away again and ta-da let's see how I like that I actually do like it so you have to imagine this will be quite full you know this this looks a bit shitty but when it's like this when it's really filled which it will be um, then you know it will look really cool okay so that was step two first now the only thing I am a little bit unhappy with is this 
I want to think of a solution for that. I might need better glue for it. Um, I just don't have any right now, so if this doesn't work, if this won't hold right now, I'll have to go and get some better glue. Um, because the problem with, with gluing this kind of stuff is that this is a metal part and this is um, porous, a porous surface. So it's kind of difficult finding to find um, the right kind of glue that will bind them together because if you use a glue that will hold on the metal then um, chances are very likely that um, it will simply dissolve the um, surface beneath it so well. It's not very interesting but anyway. Um, I have this elastic band which is quite thin. Um, I would have liked to have it just a little bit thicker but I don't have it right now so like I said this has been a spontaneous um, I, you know um, undertaking so um, I will just go with what I have here because my other option is this black elastic band and this is actually quite thick because what I'm going to use in this journal hold on is I'm going to um, I made these chapters, these empty little books. I printed out this bullet paper somewhere on, inter on the internet. I found it, I found a free PDF for bullet paper just on A4, folded it and bound it into these notebooks. Um, but in the middle, in the middle, I want to um, insert this Leuchtturm um, book because, you know, there's a couple of books for everything. Right now my planning is in a little notebook um, like here. Um, but I want to put my planning and my, my, my daily stuff back in here and what I want to use these for is for special themes like I want to do um, a business let's see I made up quite a bit um, I was going to do one um, for my daily haiku I was going to do um, one for a blog planner there's got to be a, a notebook for you know any type of inspiration that just comes into my mind um, and one for um, the year compass or Susanna Conway's um, unraveling your year um, so that's what I want to um, I want to put all of this <laughs> into and that's what you can't do as a final fax because look you can't you can simply not put enough in there but I measured and look how well that fits. I mean, just imagine. So if Philofax hates seeing what I do to their lovely planners, um, then I think Philofax, it's time to get your act together and to start making some beautiful binders with elastic band. And maybe you've already done that, um, which would be a very sensible thing because this really has quite a bit of advant a lot of advantages over a ring binder, which is just a lot less practical um, so anyway um, so the next step for me is to um, punch some holes and walking away from you right now because I do have my hole punch somewhere right so um, gonna punch some holes into the um, I have to make a good measurement and then I'm gonna punch six holes in here which is quite a bit I know um, I might not use all of the um, elastic bands um, but I want to be flexible for the future um, four elastic bands was not definitely not enough for me especially because when I insert a Leuchtturm book it's gonna take two elastic bands um, so I'm gonna make six holes I think gonna make six holes in here and and then simply um, string uh, the elastic band through it and you know if it doesn't hold then I will go out and buy a thicker elastic uh, band but you know just gonna try it with this it's dark brown too this is, would not have been my ideal color um, preferably I would have had something like this pearl color so if I have to go out again and buy new stuff I will go out and buy this color but um, you know what for the time being I would just be very very happy if, if it worked the way I wanted to work 
So starting out with measurements, I'm going to stop the camera for a bit because it's totally not interesting and um, I'll come back to you when I um, string my um, elastic band in it. See you in a minute. Um, okay, so I'm going to do some more noisy work and I've already did the... I've, oh, I've already... I'll just zoom in a little bit. It's just a little bit too close up. Um, but I've already, um, you know, made holes here. So I'm going to do the same here. I've already measured it out um, to fit six holes and I'm going to make a lot of noise here now. Again, I'm using my silent setter. <laughs> I can't help, I prefer a little bit of noise. I was planning to use this special hole punch um, thing, but um, the problem is that when I do that, when I punch it here on the other side, you will see an impression of the um, of this. Um, this has got a small, this has got a round base in here and when you punch really hard you will see an impression here and that's ugly so I decided to make a lot of noise with my silent setter instead it's a hole punch and my hole punch is a little bit stuffed with uh, so it's not punching easily anymore Those are the hole, the holes, all ends. I hope I measured them well. <laughs> Let's see. Um, and now, I'm going to do some more silent setting. But I'm not going to do it silently because I don't really like silent. But what I want to do is I'm going to insert all these eyelets because you know that's the thing um, this is just um, a plastic filofax um, it's not leather if it were leather I wouldn't have to insert the eyelets because oops um, it wouldn't tear um, especially not when it's really thick leather but you know this is just plastic so if I don't insert any eyelets in here then I'm gonna have a problem I don't necessarily like the eyelets in there because it becomes a little bit bling. It gets a little bit more bling than I would like to add. But you know what? It, this is this is practical bling, so I'm gonna do it anyway. And this is a different one. So taking it back out. And as you can see, there is a little bit more space between the two middle holes, which is intentional because that's where I intend to put the um, Leuchtturm um, journal. You know, this is what I like about making my own journal, that I can just do everything, anything I want to. So again, I'm just pressing the lining a little bit. And then I um, have this um, little tool, but I'm not quite sure which I have to use now. I think I'm going to need... I have to see. Now I think it's going to have to be the smaller one, isn't it? No, this is too big. No. Okay, so I've got the right one on there. So again, put, trying to squeeze down the lining as much as I can. And then bang it as hard as I can. Or 
but I might try the other one. I think it's going to be too big. But I'm going to try one and see what it does. Yeah, that's better. Should have used the other one. What does it do on the other side? Oh yeah, that's perfect. So... feel smooth and nice. This one is not so good. I'm going to see if I can take it. Yeah, I can take it right back out. So I'm going to do that one again. I do want to make it neat, you know. I want to try and do it right. Because I was really frustrated about the other journal, that, that it wasn't as pretty as I thought it was going to be. Having gone overboard with my... Um, with the metal parts in it. Look, um, when you see this, this is important, when you measure it out, the, the distance between these eyelets, you have to be able to fit in, um, this is A5 size paper, or it's actually A4, which I folded double. So, you know, um, if I wanted to do it super neat, I would have to cut off this um, little protruding um, bit of paper, but I'm not because, you know, um, I am, uh, quite functional about this. Um, this afternoon I was buying for some um, some bullet journal things on YouTube and I was just amazed to see the amount of time that people put into a bullet journal. Um, you know, if it's a hobby, it's, you know, it's not a problem. It, by all means, go ahead. Go ahead, but um, for me, my bullet journal is not about being pretty. It's it's just, you know, an external part of my brain, basically, helping me organise. And you know, it just it contains my my plans on all, you know, aspects of my life. It contains uh, my writings. There's a notebook in it for anything that just pops pops to mind that I want to write or think about that gets a place in my bullet journal. So my, my bullet journal is ac actually often quite a messy place. But you know, that's just like my workspace. If it's messy, as it is now, that's a good sign. You know, then you know it's been working well. Right. <clears throat> so, making some more noise. I like making noise, I just hope the neighbours won't mind because it's actually quite late. But this is the last bit of noise that I'm making tonight. This shuts up the budgies, doesn't it? <laughs> Poor things. Mind you, they used to it too. They're used to quite a bit of noise, so, you know, they're actually cuddling right now in their cage, so no problem there. Right, so, now, this Filofax, I'll zoom in just a little bit more. Now, this Filofax is fully prepared to turn it into a traveller's notebook. A faux Midori or a, well, this is a Philo vamped um, journal. I quite like it. I like the um, the golden eyelets to go with these and um, yes, I'm really, really happy about it. So I'm going to string them and um, I'll just fast forward that part because that's not really interesting, I think. Okay, so I've come to the end. 
So all I want to do now is to check whether these are all I want to see to it that I actually do them a little bit tight but not too tight because that wouldn't work either I'm going to string them and not too tight so that I can still try if it fits what I want to in there so um, right I've got my new Leuchtturm book the dark blue one this time and this is just um, a plain Leuchtturm notebook with um, dots in it which I really really like so and I can always choose to use two elastic bands if one should be a little bit um, flimsy so I'm gonna put one on the front and the others around the back and look now my Filofax contains a Leuchtturm book and um, the elastic band does come forward pretty much. Let's see what happens if I use only one string of elastic instead of two. I think it's going to be a little bit weak, but let's see. Hmm. Well, and then in front should be my... November month which is going to disappear because in December I'm going to start in the Leuchtturm book but for now it should be there and there is the daily haiku which I find a very important book right now and then there's a the Leuchtturm and couple of empty notebooks I love how it fits because I actually gave it enough room the Leuchtturm book to to be in here which makes it really really lovely and I've decided to insert another one my vlog my blog planner right so in let's see how much time I spent in under one hour I decomposed my Filofax by removing the binder. Um, I, I used some eyelets in here and some um, steel, what is it called? A steel disc, galvanized disc. What's it called in English? No, it, there's no English on it, sorry. Um, I punched a few holes, put some eyelets in there to stop to make sure um, the book doesn't um, disintegrate and I kept Filofax's beautiful elastic band and I've inserted all the chapters I wanted in there and um, you know this is notebook porn I know I mean who needs this nobody does but I have it and I I just really 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 like it and actually I do use all of these um, books quite a lot and 
um, it's been quite a search for me what book would suit me and um, I've worked in bound books as well and um, I like the bound books but um, actually last January I started one and I already um, filled out half the year to come and then you know I just there was this thing that didn't happen the way I thought it was going to happen and um, the book just was sort of tainted because it didn't make any sense anymore and it wasn't flexible enough um, because I had put things in the wrong place and everything so then I thought I needed to go back to the ring binder but you know like I said I really hate writing on the left side of the of the page when I have this ring binder in the middle so I kept opening it up to, to get paper out and putting it back in I just didn't like that um, and also actually because this is a thick you know, uh, Filofax has got two sizes of rings. This is the bigger one, but actually, when you, um, it looks like a lot, but when you want to put as much into it as I do, this is actually still quite a limited area of space that you can um, put some paper into. So, um, well, I bought some leather this week because I thought I was going to make a completely new, um, you know, I was going to do it from scratch, but um, I bought the leather um, on the second-hand market and I was informed the leather was going to be a couple of millimeters thick and when it came here it wasn't even one millimeter thick, so it was way too flimsy. So then I sat down today, it's, it was gnawing at me and I thought, I want a solution, I want it now because I don't want to buy more leather, I don't want to go, I don't want to have to wait another week for it, I want to do it now because I want to have my book now. And then I just remembered how I once bought by accident this final fax, I bought it double um, and um, one of these was just lying about and this one was already a little bit damaged and so I thought you know what I can always I can risk this and if it doesn't work out then you know what at least I've tried it but I've got this in my hands right now and I can I haven't worked in it I mean most of this is empty but I can already tell you that I'm really really chuffed about this and I'm really really glad uh, I'm, I'm really sure that I'm gonna be working in this quite a bit and um, I love how it opens and when I write some new poetry in here because this is called daily haiku but actually it contains um, poetry and sometimes poetry ideas that I have and um, well here is the um, the life term that I'm going to be using as of December and I am absolutely loving it so well that was it quite um, you know a spontaneous action on my behalf I hope you enjoyed it and if you are gonna turn your file of facts into um, a traveler style um, book then please let me know because I'm, I'm really curious and um, I wish you a lot of fun and I hope it's gonna look at look it's nice <laughs> I hope it's gonna look as nice as, as mine turn out to be so thank you for watching and see you again soon Oh, and if you do, if you stop, 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 don't go away yet. If you do make your own final facts like Traveller's Book, then please inform me about, um, uh, let me know, you know, post a photo or a link to your photo because I really love to see it. Oh, by the way, if you decide to take out your binder, there are two systems. Sorry, I didn't mention that before, but that's really important because um, this leather one. Um, has um, a binder that has no eyelets in sight. This one is very easy to remove. There is a video online. I will um, somebody shows exactly how to do it. Um, I will post a link to it. So this is the safest option. Um, but mine and most I, I believe have the eyelets in sight what you then have to do is you have to literally drill them out you need a big drill and you have to drill with a metal um, drill just as long just until the eyelet here is completely um, uh, drilled to pieces basically and then it will come off but be careful because it's really sharp so don't hurt yourself uh, doing this well, now I'm really going to go and wish you all a lot of luck revamping your final faxes and bye-bye. Um, Thank you for watching.